Hi, this is Jamie from WC Vendors, and today I'm going to give you a quick overview of the vendor dashboard. From the dashboard, the vendors can manage their products, their orders, change their store settings, look at any of their product ratings, set coupons, view your store and logout. From here, they get the overview of their vendor dashboard. This overview provides information about the commissions due, the commissions paid, total orders, and total products ordered within the period set between the dates. The vendor can select the date range they need and hit update, and then that will be reflected for that particular day. So at the moment, we're looking at one day in June. We've got seven orders, commissions are due, no shipping or taxes. We then have recent orders widget and a recent products widget. So under products, this is where vendors are able to manage their products. They're able to add, edit, or delete the product or view the product. So if the product has been published, they can view it and that will take it through to the single product page. Under orders, vendors can view their orders in a particular date range. They can view the order details, which gives them the information about the order. Another great feature that we have is the shipping label. With a little bit of modification, this can also be used as an invoice. The top half of the shipping label is what you would cut off and stick on the package as the vendor. And the bottom half is what looks like an invoice and can also be used as the picking slip in a warehouse. If the vendor needs to send an, a note to the customer, they can quickly add an order note and that will send an email to the customer to notify them. So when you go to order notes, you then get information about the order. If shipping is enabled, they can add a tracking number and the date that it was shipped. And then the, when they add that information, both the marketplace admin and the vendor are notified by default unless the emails have been disabled. The final option is just to mark the product shipped without a tracking number. Under settings is where most of the information that the vendor should be configuring first. This includes their store information, which is shown both on their store as well as on the single product page. You have payment information. So if you're using a PayPal gateway or Stripe gateway, then the information for connecting to Stripe will show up in here. Branding is for setting the store banner and store icon, which is used on the store header. The store icon is also used on the shipping lane. Shipping is where vendors set the shipping for their store. This applies to all products unless the product has a product override for shipping. Right now we've configured it for the vendors to be able to select which shipping system they want to use with a flat rate or country rate. You can also define it so only flat rate or only country rate is available. Then vendors can set their social media profiles which is shown on their store header, their policies which is shown on the single product page, and then their store SEO as well as their share, social sharing for Facebook and Twitter. As well on the store page, if you scroll down to the bottom here, we have the ability to enable opening hours, vacation mode. This is where if a vendor wants to go on vacation, they can add a notice to the front of their store and then they can disable the cart so customers are unable to add any products from their cart. A store notice is really handy if the vendor wants to have a promotion and add a coupon and then display that coupon on all of their product pages. Finally, the ability for them to add their Google Analytics tracking code, and that is added both to the vendor store page and each vendor's single product pages. Ratings is where the vendor can see customer feedback related to their various orders. Coupons is where vendors can add a coupon. That's it for now. If you have any questions, feel free to comment, share the video, or contact us via our contact page.